Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes prime time Thunder Chief building action 10 minutes at a time <laughs> Alright everybody, that cracks me up Had one guy jump up here and say what's with the finger man you gotta stop using that finger Sorry guys, all these people watching my video you're the only one to complain about it. <laughs> so you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Alright everybody. <clears throat> it's time to get serious now. We are in some serious Thunder Chief building action mode. Got the foamies put away. Check this out. i got to show you though. Where we put it away at. <laughs> I hung it up on the ceiling there. Them old strings been hanging there for years. Now when the heater blows, see that's my heater duct right there. We get a little turbulence in it. Waves. <laughs> well, it's so windy again today, man. I couldn't believe it. Wind was whipping about 40 out there today. Here, man, it's a little too windy. For the foamy, so I took care of some chores. Had to do it around the house. Mama puts me to work every now and then. What can I say? And got back out here and got this going. I got all this back stuff done back here. See, I, I got to draw a template to that. I'm about out of this wood, but I didn't want to glue that on yet. I got a template of this, 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 everything else I got templates for. Now, for some reason, them gear doors that was on them drawings don't quite match the scale gear doors, but... The kind of the way them patterns were, I think, you know, we ain't gonna, it won't be too bad. So that's what we did. I, I gave Dad them plastic gear doors. And he scaled them up, okay? And that's what we came up with. Looks better on that side, I just had to transfer it. I'm putting it right there about where it goes. And we're gonna put this on top of it. Let's see, mirror people, we're gonna have recessed gear doors, so I have to know exactly where this is going so I can do that and for that we just kind of we're going to put it down there and we're going to put that gear door where it needs to be rather than trying to fit the gear in the wrong location you know if I got to fill a couple panel lines on the bottom I ain't worried about it you know I'd rather have it all right well this is what I'm coming up with so far see this Here's my main spar. Okay, and it goes through and interlocks into that one. Comes through right there. It is on a five degree angle. Yeah, it angles. It has to to clear everything. Because if we just run that straight, it will hit this oleo and stuff we'd have to come way out here then it you know the tire wouldn't clear plus the real one's angled okay and this is how i'm getting my five degrees because this is all on the thrust line right here when did that light come on must have hit a button had a funny screen pop up okay i got my mark right there Okay, and then that's two and a half degrees. And that's five. Am I right? That should be five degrees. And right there, that's where I marked that plug. We got room for it to go into the spar right there. Plenty of room for a bigger tire. And one more time, let's just check. This duct work. See, I got a little, so I can do a little trimming on this duct and some sanding. So, this is why I haven't blasted it yet. Plus, it'll be a real, real easy mold because this foam will actually be my mold because it has to be smooth on the inside. Right, right. Okay. That notch goes right there in that notch. We'll just 
make sure everything's going. I know I'm kind of creeping along on this engineering, but uh, I'd rather have it right. And that's actually going to sit right there. Bam. See, it's about quarter inch away now, but I could come in here and trim this back another half inch and feather it back out. I can do that no problem because we figured we was going to have to anyway. But if you look on the model, always got to go back to the model. You see that spar coming out? Five degree angle. It ain't just wet plastic. <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Then we'll just have a bend in our spar. You see where it goes through there? Right there. Bam. And uh, oh, he's looking at the ducks. See that duck? It just barely clears that uh, wheel. And that's what we're going to go do. See, that's why that spar has to be so far back. But, it just looks like it's so far back. Actually, when you put it in there, it's, you know, in the third of the wing. That's about where the CG is going to be. You know, so it's not, the, it's just the, the way it looks, you know. Plus, it's going to sit inside that fuselage. You know, it fits perfect in that pocket. So, you know, I don't have to worry about alignment pins. Just that one spar sliding in, slide it in place. Bam, that wing's going nowhere. Now, what I got to do is uh, put this in right there. So, I'm elected to try to cut this with this angle. Uh. 